So for today's video, we are gonna be baking a cake. This is actually my second time that I'm gonna bake in this channel, the first time I ever did. Um, I'm not actually gonna tell you what video that was on because it's kind of cringy. Um, but I'm pretty proud of that because I put so much hard work on it, so I'm not gonna put it down. But it is kind of cringy. Anyway, tomorrow is actually my mom's birthday and I thought I would make her a lemon poppy seed cake with lemon cream cheese frosting. I've actually made cupcakes with this specific flavor and my family loved it. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to make her a cake. So I already prepared and pre-measured most of the ingredients that I'm gonna need. And I also scaled down the measurements so that I don't make too much batter. So yeah, subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you guys are ready, then let's get started. The first thing is to preheat my ho oven, <laughs> preheat my oven to 180 degrees Celsius. So let's go do that. Okay, I hope I haven't forgotten anything. Is it bad that I turned the fan on? Ain't it kasi? So first off, I'm going to mix in the dry ingredients, which is flour, baking powder, and salt. So I already sifted my flour here. I'm using cake flour. This is 252 grams. I already scaled it with my kitchen scale right here. Baking powder goes in. And I'm gonna need a fourth teaspoon salt. Okay, in you go. And I'm just gonna mix that with my whisk. By the way, I've just started standing 17 and I'm like, freaking obsessed. What is your bias if ever you stand 17? My bias is actually, honestly, it's really hard to choose because they're all like so great, but I'm always like captivated by Vernon and DK and Jonghan and yeah, I could go on and on until I mention all the 13 members. Okay, I feel like I've just been playing with the flour because it's so soft, that's probably okay. I'm gonna add a little lemon zest. I have my lemon zest here. It smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna add it in here. Should I like put you guys closer? Okay, put that. Oh, damn it. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, I actually had a very bad paper cut and now there's flour in it. I'm gonna go set this aside and we are now going to use a bigger bowl. And this is where I'm going to cream the butter and sugar. Okay, adding the butter in. The recipe actually calls for like, I think two cups of sugar. We don't want it too sweet, so I'm just gonna put like one cup. So I'm actually gonna use a hand mixer to mix this in, but if you have a stand mixer, that is so much better, it's less work. We actually have a stand mixer right here, but it's broken, so I can't really use that, so I'm gonna have to use my trusty hand mixer that's been helping me out every time I bake during quarantine. So I'm gonna cream this till it's nice light and fluffy, and that's about three minutes long. Okay, oh wait, I just forgot something. I totally forgot to make my buttermilk, so um, I should do that now. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna leave this to the side and then I'm gonna continue creaming my butter and sugar. So I'm just checking on the milk and look, it's starting to curdle. It's definitely so much thicker now. Okay, so now I need to add the egg. fluffy this batter is it's like it's like i'm doing a meringue okay the last step i'm going to do is to add the poppy seeds i feel like this is the most exciting part this is by bob's red mill poppy seeds these smell so good i actually eat them on their own when i'm bored because they taste really really good for some reason oh man i'm so haggard after that baking it's just so hot right now Okay, so now is the most exciting part. I get to put this 
in the pan right over here. So I'm going to first butter this up so it doesn't stick to the pan. And then we're gonna bake this for 25 to 27 minutes or until we stick a toothpick in it and nothing sticks. An inch pan is like a little too big. Look at it, it's literally not filling up the whole rim and it's barely an inch tall so hopefully this rises well because i'm gonna be really sad if my cake's gonna be very flat hello people of the internet so i just finished baking and i'm so happy with how it turned out the only downside though is i kind of underestimated how big my pan was I totally thought it was gonna like fill that whole 10 inch pan, but it ended up filling maybe just even less than an inch thick, which is kind of a bit of upsetting. So hopefully the cake will rise so that it kind of ends up a little thicker. But yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So now I have to clean up the whole mess that I did. And for the frosting, I'm actually gonna make it tomorrow because tomorrow's my tomorrow's my mom tomorrow's my Tomorrow's my mom's birthday, and I feel like the frosting will just look better if it's fresh. fresh. I can't talk today. It was, if it was freshly made tomorrow, the cream cheese frosting. I'm not I'm actually gonna follow the exact recipe just because usually with cream cheese frostings, a lot of recipes add so much sugar, and I personally, we personally like it to be less sweet. I'll see you tomorrow. Actually, no, I'll see you later when the bake, when the bake, when the cake finishes baking, and then I'll see you tomorrow when we're gonna decorate it. Done, I now need to get it, but I need to put you guys down because I need both hands. You can tell like it did crack a little bit. Just checked on my cake and I removed the border, or whatever it is it's called, but look at how thin the cake is. Um, I feel like I need to make one more batch just to maybe make it thicker and at least maybe this height. So, um, yeah, I'm not gonna film it anymore. The next clip you're gonna see is me with another batch of cake because this apparently is way too thin. I already kind of ate a little bit of it, so don't mind that little hole in there. Hey guys, good morning. I'm still in my pajamas, so sorry about my appearance, but I just finished making the cream cheese frosting. Um, it tastes really, really good, not gonna lie. Um, but right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a cardboard plate for the cakes. That's where I'm gonna put it on. I have this big illustration board that I'm gonna cut up into probably like 11 inches in diameter. We're gonna assemble the cake now. I have my cream cheese frosting right here. And then I have my cake. I had a bit of an accident with my cake yesterday and it kind of split into three pieces. So we're gonna have to fix that. I'm gonna first level it so it's neat. As you can tell, it got demolished a little bit when I was trying to transfer it. This. I finished frosting the cake. I like how it turned out. It, it isn't neat because I went for that naked cake look and I do have some extra cream cheese frosting but that's totally fine. We'll use it for some other time. But yeah, that's how it looks like. And we put we got some flowers from our garden that we're gonna use to decorate and then I'm also gonna put a little bit of poppy seeds. So I just finished the cake. I put like flowers and lemon and a little bit of poppy seeds. <gasps> so pretty.
Behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love.